As the All Progressive Congress in Ondo State is holding its party primaries, four aspirants have reportedly withdrawn from the race and declared support for the current state governor, Rotimi Akaredalu. The primary committee chairman, Yahaya Bello, governor of Kogi State, stressed that all aspirants have been given sufficient notice of the exercise. He also denied not carrying aspirants along, as alleged by some of the contestants. Aspirants, Ife Oyedele, Jimmy Odimayo, among others, stepped down from the governorship race for the incumbent governor, Rotimi Akaredalu. Uh, we're being joined for a conversation uh, by Mr. Oluwole Monei. He is the special assistant to Governor Akaredalu on special duties. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, we're also supposed to be joined in this conversation by Ogule Rotimi, the director of media Olushola Oke campaign um, organization, uh, but we're yet to establish contact with him. So we'll just start the conversation uh, with Mr. Oluwale. Um, can you give us an update on how the primaries are progressing right now? I want to believe that the primaries are now all but over. Delegates have cast their vote. Collisions are ongoing, and um, the agent, and there are, I think from the information available to me, there are three local governments remaining, and uh, collisions are going on on the already cast vote, and uh, at the end of it all, they will collate, and then they will distinguish the votes to, in the presence of the agents, and uh, would really announce whoever emerges victorious um, at the end of the day. Okay. Um, has there been any um, scuffle or concern as regards security? Because that was one of the issues that was raised, that with the um, disagreements and dissatisfaction among certain aspirants, there might be some disturbances. Um, Security-wise, how has the process been? Well, for every event you want to go to, there will be security concerns. And of course, in order to prepare for most of this, that's why we anticipate whatever it can be and the appropriate security agencies are engaged in that regard. But since morning, the whole process has been commendable, has been painful so far. And I don't think we should leave such concern, that is. All right. Uh, there is a general perception that the incumbent is always favored with indirect primaries, that some of the delegates are public office holders. Do you agree that the process is skewed in your aspirant's favor? Well, I disagree along that line. When this protest comes, the constitution does give three clear conditions as to how to elect or elect any government and the platform of the APC. It's either by consensus, by direct, or by indirect mode of government. So whichever way, it depends on the popularity of the city candidates. For the indirect one, it's like somebody aspiring to go to university who does not have the requisite five papers at all level. Any attempt for that person to surmount the screening procedure is an indictment of the system itself. So if you are not satisfied in the prerequisite of having majority of the delegates, as it were, you will seek what that means, as it were. Most of when you start dictating for the party, it's left for that party to know its onion to know what best way they want. So as it stands, the delegates are members of this party. And we said either direct or indirect, we are ready. But the party claimed that the Oshio Mali Expo had communicated INEC as to indirect. The critical committee under Malambuli had accepted that. And then the committee under Ayabelo has held on to that. 
Is it, is it okay now to stop accusing uh, Senator Bola Tinubu of sponsoring Mr. Olusoya uh, with him stepping down for um, the incumbent? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. As far as I know, as far as Bola Tinubu is the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, and he is one person that all leaders look up to and they expect him to hold his stand in the interest of the party. So I don't know about that allegation in any way. Okay, C currently as, as it stands, how many aspirants are in the race? Because as at the time I, I prepared for uh, this conversation, we, we knew that five persons were in the race uh, for the governorship ticket. As it stands, how many persons are vying? I think one four decided to join forces with Governor Ruchi this morning. It left eight of them. Okay. So with all that's happening within your party, um, are we seeing a case of a disunited party going to the general election, uh, whichever way the pendulum may swing? My dear, every political platform creates rooms such as this for the best to set themselves, come out stronger and better. Don't forget iron sharpness iron now. At the end of the day, the appeal committee will look into whatever complaints there are, Secondly, they will reconcile every other person in the party, and then the party will be stronger for it. Don't forget that the only other viable option left in the party, in the state will be the People's Democratic Party. And before you know it, you are going to see that they will probably have more than 14 people aspiring next to know. Who well, does that mean we should just overlook them? No. We are preparing for everybody for all his time. <clears throat> Every football team has 11 players on the field. Okay. Let, let's take on some more concerns um, as we wind down. Uh, Mr. Isaac Kekemeke said this morning in an interview that he has lost confidence in the process that led to uh, the indirect primary selection um, and also alleged that the committee um, headed by Governor Bello is not being fair to many of the aspirants. This is an allegation that uh, Governor Bello has uh, denied. Will this have any impact, all these allegations? Do you think it will have any impact on the outcome of the process? My dear sister, Barrister Didwemini Aike Kineke is a lawyer of many years standing. I do believe that he knows the import of the statements he is making. He was also the inaugural chairman of the All Progressive Congress in Ondo State. I'm sure it's conversant with both the constitution as it has built the state chapter and the powers he does give to the National Working Committee of the party. So when he makes this kind of uh, accusation, I have also not heard it from him because every serious accusation can only come up at a pay. Then people talk at this level. I don't count it as serious as such. When we get to the point of the appeal committee and they put this on paper, then we'll consider it serious. For now, we just think that maybe one of his subordinates made this frustrating comment after realizing how unprepared they had been. And you see, for the four who decided to throw the line of reason, having seen the light, they do, they do, of course, know what it means, you get me, to contend with reason and reality. So we are waiting if he does think that the appeal committee or the reconciliation committee of the party will have a job to do by putting in that petition. All right, uh, before I let you go, uh, do you see all parties after this primary is concluded in a few um, uh, hours uh, come together to campaign and push uh, for the success of any candidates that come? Or do you expect to see more of uh, disagreement or even people leaving the party? 
well, we are a political platform, and uh, ideologically, you know that the one person wrote most of our manifestos, the late Balaji. So when you look at brands of beer, and then somebody says, I'm no longer drinking this one, but I'd rather drink the other brand. You don't drink anything different. People are free to leave if after exploring all the participation that we hope it does not get to that. We we'll also be doing an evangelism, winning from the alternate side. And of course, we know what happens when some people do not really get the ticket. You get me. But at the end of the day, Governor Oduayo, Oluwaro Timiakere Dolu, is the man to beat. All right. Um, it, it's quite unfortunate we were unable to get uh, Mr. Ogunle Rotimi, uh, the director of media Olushalaoke campaign organization, to join us for this conversation. <coughs> uh, but we did um, get the opinion, the, the thoughts of the special assistant to Governor Karadulu on special duties, Mr. Oluwale uh, Moni. Thank you very much uh, for joining us and uh, for sharing uh, your thoughts. God bless you. Bless you too. We hope to get other parties in the conversation subsequently, maybe after the primaries have been concluded. For now, that's where we take a pass for our PLUS report. And when we return, I'll be giving my take. Do stay with us. Over 100,000 card-carrying members of the All Progressives Congress, APC, in Edo State, have decamped to the People's Democratic Party of the Edo State Governorship elections. The decamped members from the Oronigbe South community in Oromuan local government of Edo State say their support for the state governor, Godwin Obaseki, is because of his developmental strides in the last four years. They also added that they are determined to ensure that Governor Obaseki is returned in the upcoming September governorship polls. You can see, anywhere Obaseki goes, we go. Our goal is to deliver Obaseki. Our goal is to say no good to go for that reason. Our goal is to make sure Edo State is ready for tomorrow. We are not stomach infrastructure seekers. We are for development. That is why I'm leading thousands of my supporters in accordance with the agreement of my APS leaders and my party, my former party, APC, to PDP. What I saw here this afternoon is wonderful. It's unbelievable. With what I've seen here today, I'm not afraid that we are losing Ironigbe South for any other party. Uh, with what I've seen here today, I believe come 20, uh, September 19, 2020, victory is us. We are going straight to Sadebe Avenue. Oba, uh, Godwin Obaseki will win the election without fear or favor.